Hey, it's Carmen from Curious Chicks, and I wanted to create this video because I think a lot of times when we go on vacation, we gather tons of video, tons of photos from our different devices like GoPros or from our iPhones or DSLRs, and we just don't know how to organize them all once we get home. And it's very easy to just take all of your photos and videos and dump them all into one folder and then never look at them again. But I have found that it's not a good way to reflect on your trip, especially if you want to remember the places you went to or when you went there, or just reflect on it as a complete journey. I'm a big organizer and I love to organize my photos and videos. And I've streamlined my process of how I organize all of my different media. So I'm gonna share with you my process. Before you start organizing your photos and videos, you're going to want to get an external hard drive. Especially if you have video, that's going to take up a lot of space. The storage space that you're going to need is going to depend on how much video you have and what other types of files you're going to store on that hard drive. You may opt for an external hard drive with redundancy capabilities, which consists of two hard drives that mirror each other. The purpose of having that second drive is so that it will hold a backup of all of your photos and videos in case something happens to one of those drives. So that's another point is that you really need to have a backup of all of your photos and videos. Another place would be to hold it in the cloud. But the main point is to keep all of your photos and videos off of your computer. So here's a glimpse at my organizational system. You may want to have an individual folder labeled vacation photos or a folder that designates where all of your trip folders will be located. And this helps to ensure all vacation folders are together. Then within this folder, you can create more folders specifically about an individual trip. So in this case, I will be showing you how I organized my Spain photos. I labeled this folder Spain, followed by the date, which is always good so you know the date you were there. Now within this folder, you can create more folders labeled by the date, city, point of interest, or a combination of these. Or you can organize them by something totally different like artwork or wildlife or whatever categories that seem most appropriate for you. I personally like to do a combination of city and date because I tend to go to a lot of different cities within a specific destination. Now you can continue to create more folders depending on how detailed you want to get in your organization. Further folders might be labeled by point of interest, a particular meal, or a specific event. And if you want, you can also relabel the name of each image or video, and that will be at your discretion. If we look at my Barcelona folder, here I divided it up into more folders. So for example, if we take the Gothic corner in Las Ramblas, I did name some images individually, but most of them I just left it as the name that it was given when it was taken. If you have multiple sources of photos and videos, such as your iPhone, GoPro, DSLR, or drone, I would combine them all into their respective folders. So all photos and videos of a particular location should be placed in the same folder, no matter what source they came from. And I have found that it's a better way to find them later on. Within each folder, you can organize your photos by right-clicking, arrange by, and then choose name, kind, application, or whatever way you want to arrange them by. You can also show view options and change different ways of viewing it, but that this is on a Mac and it's probably different on a PC. Now you may also want to create a separate Word doc that details your trip happening, so you can refer to it if needed when you look back on your photos and videos or you can include a trip diary here to reference back to your photos. It's fun to read years later on. Now this is just a way to organize your photos for long-term storage. It's tedious but in the event years later you want to look back at your photos and videos it will be easy to know where you were. It would also be easy to extract photos and videos from these folders if you ever wanted to create a photo book, recap a video of your trip, or simply show a friend an image. Now you certainly don't have to organize your media the way I do, but I have found this system has worked for me time and time again. So I hope this has helped you in some way on how you can organize your photos and videos. And if you have any tips of your own, please leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up on this video. And please subscribe to our channel for more similar travel videos.